Hey everyone, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars, and this is a 2009 Genesis model, um, the G2 to be exact, from Tom Bills. Um, some of you may recognize this model. Again, it's been around now, um, so most of us have seen one or heard one or perhaps had a chance to play one, um, but it's really fun. Um, it's a, as you can see, it's a different design. There's no sound hole on the top. And when you see guitars like this, you know, you have to ask yourself why, you know, why, why wouldn't you have a hole, right? And there's a really logical reason. The hole is a, is a weakness structurally, right? It's a hole. So if you put a hole in the middle of a guitar top, the whole guitar wants to try to fall apart. Um, so that's why we have to have the strong X bracing and such that Martin came up with so long ago. And all of that works beautifully. But if you take the hole out of the equation, the builder then has some freedom, right? He can do something different. So what? Um, in this case, the bracing is totally different inside. And um, look at the photos, because I'm sure Logan will get some great photos, because there's a big sound hole on the side of the guitar. Um, so you can see all the bracing, and it's completely different. So instead of an X brace, there is no X. There's just various um, structural bracing and voicing bracing, almost more like a classical guitar, but different even than that. So um, give Tom Bills, in this case, a, a chance to do something totally different and voice the top in a way that gets some, um, in this case, what I hear in the driver's seat, you hear a lot of beautiful warm bass, and the overall sound of the guitar is warm and powerful. Um, it's a sinker redwood top. Um, which lends itself to have some good warmth and clarity. Um, Sinker Redwood tends to be a stiffer version of Redwood, uh, which I like for the structural reasons. Um, so anyway, there's just a quick spiel about why there's no sound hole, um, and, it, and it really works. Um, so let's have a look at this one. You can see the um, asymmetrical sort of design to the body, which is, again, just a matter of um, cosmetics, but overall design that's an offset sort of guitar. Sinker Redwood, as I mentioned. So this is Redwood that has been submerged into water and the water naturally and slowly pulls the resins out of the wood. Um, different shape bridge here that you see like on some of the Kasha guitars and things of old where just distributing the energy differently into the top. No sound hole, so um, the fingerboard can terminate wherever you want. Um, the fingerboard, the playability on this guitar is great. And you got the B logo on the headstock. The whole guitar is bound in beautiful koa. So there's highly figured koa all the way around the headstock, fingerboard, and body. Gold godos with faux ebony buttons. Indian rosewood. Uh, really nice set. Just perfect, perfectly quartered. Nice color to it. And again, framed out by the koa. So it's really pretty. And I like the way that you've got the redwood top. Koa bindings and the, the colors of the woods really blend well here. And the perf thing along the top is very fine wood as well. So no abalone, no plastic on this guitar other than the logo. And then on the side here, let me just show you the sound porch. So this is where you're getting a lot in the driver's side of the guitar. So this guitar is really pleasing to the player. You get a lot of nice, big, warm bass response. There's also a control here for the bag's um, pickup system. So you've got electronics already on the guitar. There's also a strap pin here, so you can wear a strap like you're supposed to. Um, I'm a big proponent for straps, as everybody knows, so you can hold the guitar here. Whether you're standing or sitting, it's perfectly comfortable. And you don't have to use a footstool or anything. Your feet are on the floor and your back is straight. So just a very healthy way to play. You always see me with the videos doing this because I have to in the shop because, you know, that's where we're shooting. But at home, I always wear a strap like this. So, quick side note from Grandma Paul. Um, and just, again, really enjoying this G2 Genesis guitar from Tom Bill's killer box for one of you all. Cheers. Mm -hmm.